Well, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's great to have you. And if you're a subscriber, it's great to have you back. Today I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the iRobot app as it relates to the little BravaJet 240 I have here. Um, so what I wanna do is just walk you through the app real quick and see how you set up the robot to be able to clean your floors and also give you a good indication of some of the different options that you uh, you will see once you're inside of the app. So let's go ahead and get started by going into the app. Now, when you first launch the and download and launch the iRobot app, this is what you will see. You will see uh, add a robot. So you're gonna go down. You're gonna first make sure that your robot is powered on. So simply just push the button to power it on. And once it comes up, you will click the BravaJet 200 series and click add a BravaJet. As you see, the picture of the BravaJet is right there. Uh, make sure that you charge the battery. If it's the first time taking it out of the box, make sure the battery is fully charged before you start the setup process. It takes about two hours to charge it from dead. Mine was about halfway charged. Um, also, make sure that you insert the battery and turn it on. Uh, also, make sure you have a pad installed. I have a mopping pad, a blue pad right here, as you can see, installed on this one. Click Next. Make sure you fill it up with water. When I'm filling it up with water, just a little tip here. Um, if you fill it up flat like this under the, under the faucet, you'll only get about a quarter cup of water in it. If you tilt it away from the faucet like this, then you will get about another quarter cup of water, making it about a, a half a cup of water fully uh, to fill it up. It's a little tip there. It actually shows it leaning a little bit in the, in the uh, uh, screen there. So we've already got it turned on, so we're ready to go. So it'll search for Now I've already added this to my... Uh, to, to my app before and I just went in to remove it so that I could show you the setup process and interestingly enough once you've added it and removed it it remembers the name of it so I, I think that it must program the name into the robot itself because uh, you can see there it says mop that's what I had a name before so I will select that um, adding mop there we are what would you like to name it uh, I want to name it um, little mop continue and you can see it's connected you can see the battery strength there that's one of the pluses here is that there's no way to see the battery uh, percentage on the mop itself you have to use the app to be able to see that uh, and if I were to click clean on the app it would go ahead and start cleaning so I want to go ahead and show you some of the features let's go up here to the top left pancake menu uh, you can see here we have the mop added if you have multiple mops or vacuums from iRobot you would see the different ones here you can add a mop. You can go into their smart home stuff, iRobot store to uh, order uh, replacement pads and such. Or you can also obviously uh, order those directly from Amazon a little bit cheaper. iRobot Beta is something I did sign up for. Um, it basically allows you to be part of the beta prop program. And it looks like you have to sign up for it. Uh, and it's, um, as you see, I am in the beta program. Uh, it sounds like it's not guaranteed that you will get beta releases uh, sooner than late, uh, that you'll actually be part of the beta club, I should say. Um, it's just a uh, request to be part of the beta club. Uh, so where most of the stuff is here is in the bottom right menu down here at the very bottom right hand corner and go under settings. Uh, and you can rename your robot here at the very top. Um, pad options. Now this is one of the more popular settings that I use here. Uh, there's of course the washable pads and the single use wet mopping pad. Now the pads that it comes with are the single use disposable uh, mopping pads and that is the blue one which is the mopping pad. There is also a damp mopping pad which is the orange and there is a dusting pad which does not use water and that is white. Uh, so the options here are only for the orange and the blue and as you see here on the screen you have the washable wet mopping pad it's something I don't have right now but the single use wet mopping pad you can change between the water settings and the nice thing is you hear there as, as I'm changing the robots beeping to acknowledge that it got that change request and so for all of these you can change how much water you want to put down now and what I found is there's not a whole lot of difference between the water settings, but I did find that if I had it on very strong, it put too much water down on my floor, and that putting it all the way down to the lowest level was just fine for me. Uh, so that's as you see, I have them all at the lowest level, which is not the default, by the way. 
um, metric units uh, you can change to metric if you like uh, you can remove it uh, you can do a factory reset on it if you're having problems and this is where you will go see the software version or the serial and the serial number for the for the robot here all right now back to the main settings screen and those are really the only options now down here in the middle you have a spot cleaning option uh, which will basically if, if you want to place the robot down in the area in the center of the area as you see here in the screen it will clean up to four foot in front and up to two foot on either side so a four by four area is what it will clean and cover up so if you just want to do a like a little small spot clean and you want to start it as a four by four area uh, start it in the center and it'll do two feet to the left two feet to the right four feet in front if it can reach that uh, and you can, I can hit, hit start spot clean right now and do that inside of the app now back here I want to show you a couple of things um, first these, these lights that are blinking right here they mean a couple of things right now they mean that the uh, the app is connected to the robot um, so let's go ahead and cut it off hold down the power button to cut it off and we're going to cut it back on I'm going to hold the power button down when I see that those two lights come on like that and that little chime that second chime come up what that means is that is setting up the virtual barrier mode so if you start the robot in the corner of a room and you enact, uh, activate virtual barrier mode by holding down the power button let me show you that one more time real quickly again power it off and uh, you can cut it on by just pushing the power button once uh, but if you want to enable virtual barrier mode you want to hold this down and then release it and now you see these two lines here and basically if I were to start it it would not mop anywhere behind the robot so that's the virtual barriers right behind the robot uh, as you can see here on the app you can see now the lights on either side of it are lit up now one downside on the app is I cannot activate or deactivate that virtual barrier from the app it's just an indicator in the app to show that it is enabled so the only way for you to enable it is by holding down the power button on the robot which makes the app a little bit uh, not so useful uh, you can also see here at the bottom of the app right here you can see the wet mopping pad it detects that it is installed um, so if I were to change that out and real quickly we'll uh, we'll eject this one and we'll slide in the damp mopping pad if I can get it it's really not that difficult it's just me trust me uh, so we'll put in the uh, different mopping pad it should update here no pad detected as it sees and it should update here in just a second and show that it has the damp mopping pad installed um, one thing I find that the app is kind of as it's communicating with the robot uh, it says to make sure you're within 10 feet of the robot to can communicate with it directly because it's a direct connection between your phone and the iRobot so you can't you can't actually change settings from across town or anything like that you have to be within direct communication and as you see there on my screen it uh, updated to show that there is a damp sweeping pad installed so we'll go more into the details and the differences between the different pads and how they work in another review but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the iRobot BravaJet uh, application this is uh, on an Android phone right here right now and so I want to give you a quick overview if you like this content make sure you share subscribe for more content more reviews on this little guy I appreciate your time today take it easy everyone bye bye